Imagine one of our fish ancestors. Remember, it's a fish that walked onto land and evolved into mammals. Fish have a mouth to eat and gills to breathe, but both take in water. So evolution decided why two separate pipes? So the gills and the mouth join. But as mammals evolved from fish, they had to breathe air but eat liquid and solid food. So now you couldn't mix breathing and eating because you would choke. So evolution found a Jugard solution. One of the gills in our ancestors was repurposed into the larynx, voice box. It has flaps that close the windpipe when you're eating and open it when you're breathing or speaking. Now imagine you're gobbling up food, so you swallow a lot of air with it, which expands your stomach. That will push against and irritate the diaphragm. The diaphragm will be like, what the hell is happening? And contract involuntarily. When you pull out the handle of a cycle pump, air is pulled in. When your diaphragm contracts, a lot of air is rapidly pulled in through your nose. Your vocal cords are like, what the hell is happening? And try to close quickly. So fast moving air meeting closing vocal cords <laughs> is a hiccup. It doesn't stop there. The brain is monitoring signals from the vocal cords and the diaphragm. And like Delhi interfering in state affairs, instructs the diaphragm to keep contracting till the irritation stops. So you slow down, take some sips of water, wait for the hiccups to go away, and blame your fish ancestor for this. Thank you.